should at the very least have like an assistant reply to you if you email them after the workshop because that's the whole point actors do in a workshop. I did this Zoom workshop with like six agents mm -hmm. and it was kind of painful because one of the actors, when he was done with his scene, he's like, thank you everybody, just looking for a home. I thought, no, <laughs> don't, don't, don't look desperate, man, that's not good. But of the six that were there, I did what you do. You know, when it's done, they say, reach out to me and you send them an email says, hey, thank, I wait a day. Say, thank you so much for being a part of it. Really appreciated your feedback. Mm -hmm. Two of the four gave a, gave a reply. And I was like, thank you for taking the time for the reply. The other four are like, yeah, I, you're not who I was looking for and I don't even need to respond to you. Yeah. It's like, come on, I'll remember that. Weenie hole, Borat, and anytime, any, it's not Borat, it's, um, What's the, what's the Sacha Baron Cohen thing where he's talking with his penis hole? It's a weird intro. <laughs> <laughs>
At the same time? How does it know? <laughs> I don't know how to answer. What you just asked. I don't think people working at Apple are like, do we know how the iPad knows? <laughs> no, we should have faith? Okay, ma, please. The iPad knows. It's a device that works on buttons. It knows when you press them. <laughs> She's like, yeah, obviously. Five minutes later, she's like, Karan, I'm pressing this home button, but the volume is going on. I'm like, okay, there are many buttons <laughs> on the iPad. You know, I took the screenshot in the end. My mom is holding one end of the iPad, my dad is holding the other end. Like, okay, one, two, three, screenshot. <laughs> oh, no! We needed more of that. I, I could watch that whole special. That whole special. Yeah. Okay. Not as so <laughs> bless, bless is a little hard. This is an actual conversation. You probably had that conversation with Oh, that, that is, no, no. That's transcendent complexity, okay? My dad, mm -hmm. I get an email. Call me, I'm having problems with my computer. I call him up. What's up? I can't, see, I can't get in, into my Skype, okay? When I get in there, it's just a black bar. When you get in where? Into my, into my Skype, they've, they've blocked me. Who's they? I don't know, but I can't get into Skype. Okay, so what are you looking at right now on your computer? My Skype. Because you're looking at the screen when you open it up. No, I just told you it's got a black bar. Okay, well, I'm trying to understand if that, when you, when you go into Skype, Dad, how do you get in? I press Skype. I said, okay, in other words, you have an icon that has the little S on it. You know that, you know what I'm talking about, the, the thing. All I know is I press what I always press and it's not working. Okay, all right, it's okay, calm down. I just wanna know, do you type Skype in your URL and you go there like to the website or on your desktop? What's my desktop? <laughs> what do you look at when nothing is open on your computer? You just turned your computer on, what do you see? I see my computer. <laughs> okay. So, and when you're looking at it, when you click on, I click on, there's a thing at the bottom, it's a circle with an S. Ah, so the, you have it downloaded onto your computer. So you click that and then what happens? Right now, nothing, I'm getting a black box. Dad, what do you mean you're getting a black box? That's what I mean. They've stopped me from getting into Skype. What do you mean they? I don't know, Russell's coming over and he's gonna fix it, but I'm just, I'm freaking out because I don't, and for him, it's like my computer will never work again. No computer I ever own is ever gonna work again. If I don't fix this issue right now, right now, no computer I ever have will let me access Skype for the rest of my life. It was, that's a real conversation. What was it? What was the actual issue? I don't know. <laughs> Russell came over, my cousin, and fixed it. But I was trying to, he legit was like saying, they are blocking me. I think I got a virus in my Skype. I said, you think someone intentionally implanted a virus into your Skype application on that computer? I don't know, I just got a black box. And he'd do stuff like that and then he'll say, okay, it's working. If you ever do stand up, you can tell that story. Uh, that's, a, that's a good story. Uh, <laughs> parents. What do they know? Nothing. That's what I've been told. You are one. Yeah, but I know stuff. <laughs> <laughs>